this is my ego room. Like whenever I'm feeling a little low, I go in here and I look at all this. I still can't believe it. I still pinch myself every day. He's known as the great interviewer. I'm getting paid for doing something that I would do anyway. I mean, I would ask questions anyway. One of the only people in the history of the planet who can say he has interviewed over 40,000 people from all walks of life. Larry King has spent 56 years asking questions, but what happens when the broadcast stops and the camera is turned on him? So I headed down to Hollywood to answer one simple question. Why is Larry King so curious? Everybody has a story. And people are fascinating. And I'm not the kind of person you want to sit next to on an airplane because I'm constantly curious about why. I can go back to being, I remember, like nine, ten years old, I get on a bus and ask the bus driver, oh, why, do you, why do you want to drive a bus? Pilots, why do you want to fly a plane? And things that are curious to me, they're just things I think about all the time. That curiosity drove King out of retirement in 2011, when he began broadcasting not one, but two shows. Larry King now and Paula Ticking. It's a schedule someone in their 40s would have trouble maintaining, but for Larry, asking questions is like breathing, natural and nonstop. So as the novice interviewer, in comparison to the King's nearly six decades of experience, I had to ask. What question is there that I could ask the great interviewer himself that you haven't already been asked? Well, I've been asked many. I guess you could ask of uh, well, what it's like to be almost 80. <laughs> and the answer would be it's weird because uh, when I was a kid, no one was 80. I didn't know anyone 80. Uh, men left us in their late 60s, maybe 70s. I had an uncle once, I think, who reached 71. So I never expected this. And uh, I still pinch myself at it all. My father died at age 46. I was nine and a half. In fact, when I was 46, I thought I would die because he died at 46. So just to be approaching this, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I, I appreciate the fact that I'm still here and I still can be active, yet it's weird to think of myself as 80 because I still think of myself as kind of 17. We spoke about his views on how journalism has changed. Everybody's a blogger, everybody's a journalist. Immediacy is, there's a good and bad. If something big happened in the world right now, the whole world would know it in a minute. So the set, the good part of that is instant communications. Bad part, I love newspapers. He told me about some of his biggest accomplishments in life. My first success is, is fatherhood. Um, I've tried to be a good father. I have three grown children. I have a stepson and two little boys. And then in media, I'm very proud that I've accomplished some things, you know. Yeah, these awards, a lifetime achievement from the Emmys was a big thrill. Now, because of his 56 years of experience, Larry King's face can be seen from sea to shining sea on everything from taxis to buses. And this global phenomenon shows no signs of stopping. I can't explain that. I don't know where the stamina comes from. Uh, and I hope it keeps up. 56 years and still asking questions. Do you think some of this Obama antagonism is racial? Proving that even in a democracy, we still answer to a king. In Los Angeles, Megan Lopez, RT.